Hi everybody, this is Charlize the Nocti Girl. Today I'm going to talk about my very first Leica M, the M6. For those of you who have been following me know that the reason I'm the Nocti Girl is due to my obsession with the 50mm Noctilux. And it took me around 10 years to save so I could buy the lens new. Well, before I got the lens, I actually came across this M6 as such a great deal that I simply couldn't pass up on. With the help of my friends, of course. So I actually owned this M6 for two years without a lens to use it with before I got my Noctilux. Crazy, huh? Fast forward to eight years today, I decided it was time to give this camera a makeover. This will probably be a forever camera as it has such a sentimental value to me. So I hit up Jesse over at Sweeto Camera, who is an expert at camera makeovers, including repainting, re-leathering, etc. Let's see her work her magic and transform my baby! As I happened to be in Taipei, Taiwan, I decided to visit Jesse at the Sweeto store. I gotta say, I just love public transportation in Asia. They're so easy and convenient. You really don't need to own a car to get to places. After a few stops on the MRT, which stands for Mass Rapid Transit, the subway system in Taipei, I was able to get to the store quickly. Google Maps also helps tremendously on navigating how to use public transportation in foreign countries, besides China, but I'll get to that in another video. The store is conveniently located a few minutes from the MRT station. Keep in mind though, you do need an appointment to visit the store. Okay, so I am a Sweeto Camera with Jesse. Hi, everyone. <laughs> so Jesse was kind enough to um, agree to help me with my M6, getting a re uh, makeover. And um, yeah, so Jesse, can you tell us a little bit about Sweeto Camera, um, the kind of services that you guys provide and Okay, uh, we're我们基本上是有就是刻字化像机眼色的服务然后也有卖一般的那个中古的相机像大型相机中型的或者是一般的三五片幅的都有然后你可以就是直接跟我们预约来现场然后 the store itself is not big, but it has many different kinds of second-hand cameras like Jesse mentioned, from 35mm to medium and large format cameras, lenses, and accessories. It had a dedicated display case full of Leica gear which I stood in front of and gawked at while quietly screaming inside my head out of sheer excitement. Jesse was kind enough to take out all the Leica cameras from the display case that they've worked on so I could look at them closely and get some inspiration for my own M6. Some of these are pure works of art. Yes, the brassing and patina are artificial, but you really can't tell unless you were told. Jesse explained the amount of work and time it takes to make the brassing and patina look natural. It is actually a multi-step process. They can even make the bubbling effect that we see on some really old cameras look like it happened naturally. First, they coat a layer of paint on the camera and they destroy or strip off the paint. They will repeat this process many times until they achieve the desired patina and bubbling on the camera. People sometimes think they just sand down the paint. They actually don't do that. It's a much more involved and tedious process to make the patina look like it happened naturally. To create such an effect takes about a month of meticulous work, whereas for their usual single color paint jobs it takes about a week. This gives you a sense of how much more work it takes to create this unique vintage look. 
Jesse went on to show me some other examples of styles that they could do. This camera has a sparkly and three-dimensional look to it. You can also see the colors change from different angles. This olive green camera has a cool ombre effect. The color fades from dark green to light yellowish green. This one has a muted ombre wave effect with a satin finish. This one is a cute baby blue with yellow spray-on accents. These are their really unique art series designs. They are one of a kind. While the style could be replicated on other cameras, it would never look completely the same. Like this one uses the ink blot effect with multiple colors and variations of shapes and layers. This one has a base hammer tone color. Before the paint dried, other colors were added so they could mix freely with the base paint. This is why the same designs cannot be replicated exactly. This specific one was inspired by Austrian painter Gustav Klimt with gold ostentatious colors that are eye-catching. Next, Jesse showed me some of their engraving examples. I am able to choose the color, font or script type, the words I like to engrave on my camera, and the location I like the engraving to be. Pretty neat! It was finally time to design my M6. After some thinking, I decided to go with the very unique Miami blue, which is the color of my car. It's a very vibrant color and it always makes me happy when I see it. After some discussion, Jesse came up with some mock-ups of different color combinations. She also showed me mock-ups with an engraving on there. I gotta admit, I had a hard time deciding as I had so many different options. What color combination and engraving should I get? Would you send your camera in for a makeover? What color combos would you get? Stay tuned for the completed camera!